Hi guys, welcome to Tune Basics, the series that teaches you how to play the basics. Today we'll be looking at how to play the popular Christmas carol, Silent Night, composed in 1818 by Franz Xaver Gruber on the tin whistle. Here is a penny whistle. This penny whistle is in the key of C. But don't worry if yours isn't in the key of C, because for this lesson, it is the finger holes that are important. When holding your penny whistle, remember that your left hand is positioned closest to your mouth and uses fingers 1, 2, and 3 to cover holes 1, 2, and 3. The right hand is positioned so that fingers 4, 5, and 6 can cover holes 4, 5, and 6. For these lessons, when you see a blue arrow pointing into the mouthpiece, this means blow gently enough to still produce notes. When you see a red arrow pointing into the mouthpiece, this means blow a bit harder to produce a higher note. So let's get straight into it. Here is what Silent Night looks like when it's written down in the key of C. And this is how it sounds. G A G E G A G E D D B C C G A A C B A G A G E A A C B A G A G E D D F D B C E C G E G F D C Let's take a closer look at phrase one. First cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover hole number one with finger number one and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover hole number one with finger number one and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow gently once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. Now let's take a look at phrase two. Cover holes one to five with fingers one to five and blow a bit harder twice. Leave every hole uncovered and blow gently once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder twice. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase three, cover hole number one with finger number one and blow gently twice. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Leave all the holes uncovered and blow gently once. Cover hole number one with finger number one and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover hole number one with finger number one and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow gently once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. Now phrase four is exactly the same as phrase three. So let's move on to phrase five. Cover holes one to five with fingers one to five and blow a bit harder twice. Cover holes one to three with fingers one to three and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to five with fingers one to five and blow a bit harder once. Leave all the holes uncovered and blow gently once. 
Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase six, cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to three with fingers one to three and blow gently once. Cover holes one to five with fingers one to five and blow gently once. Finally, cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow gently once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. Now try putting all the phrases together. And there you have it. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to show more support, then please visit our Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. And finally, don't forget to check out some of my other lessons. And until next time, stay tuned.